You know, San Diego Comic-Con Fun Days and Freddy's are not the only things we're allowed to talk about here in July. Today, we're going to be talking about some pops that have quietly been on the rise. Here we go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to take a break from talking about SDCC and Fun Days and that whole Freddy debacle because I'm not ready to talk about it. I kind of want to wait until the dust settles in a few days or maybe even a week until we get our actual boxes of fun and open them here on the channel to see what we get. I'm sure we'll be talking about everything tomorrow night over on Pop Force One. So if you are interested in talking more about the current situation at hand with Funko, make sure to come out to our live stream tomorrow night. But in the meantime, we're going to be talking about some Funko Pops that have been quietly rising in value lately. And I do have a nice short list a very diverse list of a few pops that I want to discuss today and I think some of you guys will be very surprised to hear about the ones that I've handpicked for today's video and the first one is actually a limited piece from Emerald City Comic Con 2017 in the form of superhero Kermit now overall the Muppets are very popular although there is not that many Muppets pops in general. In fact, there's actually only three Kermit Pops, four if you include the Jim Henson Pop holding Kermit, but I think most people would not consider that an official Kermit Pop. This Pop, like I said, was an exclusive, limited only 3,000 pieces, and up until the beginning of last year, it was pretty affordable, trending around that $40 to $80 price range, fluctuating a little bit, and then boom, the middle of last year, it spiked, and currently it's trending at $130. This is a unique one that I could actually see rising even more in value because I don't foresee them making any new Muppets Pops anytime soon. I would really love to see some Muppets sodas, but in the meantime, if you want this one, you're gonna have to shell out well over $100 for this now Muppet Grail. Next up, we actually have a character from the Marvel Universe, and this is a pop that I actually need to pick up for my own collection, and this one is the Walgreens exclusive Silk. Now, some of you guys might be scratching her head wondering who Silk is, and she's actually from the Spider-Man side of the Marvel Universe, and she was actually bitten by the very same spider that gave Peter Parker his powers. So not only did that spider bite him, it then went on to go bite Cindy Moon in the ankle to give her her powers. Now, this is the original one. They did make two Silk Pops, but this is the first Walgreens exclusive version of this pop, and this was dirt cheap for a long time. It was coming in around anywhere from five to ten dollars really up until the the ending of 2021 and then moving into 2022 it spiked a little bit but now here in 2023 it is currently trending for 36 dollars couple interesting things with this one when talking about silk Despite Across the Spider-Verse being immensely popular and having dozens if not hundreds of Spider Family characters, Silk was actually one of the few characters not in that movie, which leads us to believe she could be coming in the third installment of the movie, or they could just be saving her for a live action project and they don't want to involve her in the Miles Morales side of things. I would love to see her in the MCU someday, especially because at one point in the comic she was actually dating the Human Torch, aka Johnny Storm, and we know we have yet to see the Fantastic Four in the Marvel Cin Cinematic Universe, so this one could be a very good one to pick up before it gets even more expensive, but at the moment, it's trending for a little over double retail, coming in at 36 bucks. So now we're going to be switching things up, moving from Marvel to my favorite universe to talk about, and that, of course, is Star Wars. And unless you're living under a rock in the Star Wars community, most of you guys, like me, are probably very excited for the brand new Ahsoka series that's going to be premiering at the end of August. And the pop that's actually been going up in value, probably thanks to the Ahsoka trailer, is Sabine. And the pop that I'm specifically referencing for today's video is the Walgreens Mass Sabine. And in my opinion, this is the best version of Sabine from the original Rebels line. And I gotta say, that original Rebels line is probably the best overall Star Wars line that you can collect if you're a pop collector. This one has been trending upward in value quite a bit as it is currently selling for well over $100, although PPG at the moment has this currently with a value of $80. Now this one is also very interesting because it's been fluctuating over the years and it's even been restocked 
thanks to a special edition version that was released overseas. And you will see a dip in the graph here thanks to that restock. However, that restock could not keep the value of Sabine down very long. If you want to get this one in your collection, you're going to be hard pressed to find one for under $100, especially since she is going to be a main focal point in the Ahsoka series. And I'm super excited to see her. This is really a beautiful one. So next up we have a pop I think you would never expect me to talk about here in July, but hey, there's that joke about Christmas in July, and the character that I'm actually talking about is the one, the only, not Santa Claus, but the Grinch. And I'm talking about the actual original Grinch pop that was released way back in 2017. Now there's several versions of this pop, there's a blue one, there's a flocked one, but I'm specifically talking about the original non-variant one, and this one is actually very very cool. Now, interestingly enough, most holiday pops or most characters from the Christmas line tend to spike in value right around Thanksgiving leading up to the holidays, but this one has actually spiked a little bit here in the beginning of 2023, as this one was trending for about $25 to $35 for a while, but now if you want to pick this one up for your collection, if you can find one from 2017, this one is currently trending at $50, and I'll be very curious to see when this one spikes this upcoming holiday season, if it goes up by a lot or if it goes up by a little. I think with there being fewer of these original Grinch pops on the market and with the Grinch Jim Carrey movie being so popular every single year, I think a lot of collectors are going back and getting this exact pop for their holiday themed collections. So this one will definitely be one you'll have to keep your eyes on this upcoming holiday season. Oh, ah, mmm. That's it, I'm not going. So this next pop that I'm gonna be talking about for today is pretty much the definition of slow and steady wins the race. And the one that I'm currently talking about is the Jackalope, which was a Funko Shop exclusive from the Myths line. Now this one was actually released in December of 2019. And overall, there hasn't been a lot of movement in the Miss line, except as of late. Recently at Fun Days, they actually released those six inch Bigfoot pops that were pretty limited, coming in at only 850 pieces. Prior to that, we hadn't gotten a Miss pop in quite some time, with the exception of the green Blacklight Bigfoot pop, which is a cool one, but pretty much just a Blacklight version of a Bigfoot mold that they've already made several times. So pretty cool to see this jackalope finally starting to really make a dent in the marketplace here as this one like I said has slowly but surely been rising ever since its release really going up by five dollars here ten dollars here and it's currently trending for fifty five dollars which I think is a great sign to see for the myths line in general maybe as more collectors go out and grab the older myths pops this will actually push Funko to create some more myths pops because they really haven't uh, come out with very much in the last few years and I would love to see more characters come into Funko Pop form from that line. So if you want to get this one, I would recommend getting it sooner rather than later because I could see this one trickling up to maybe 75, 80, maybe even $100 in the next few years. So the last pop that we're gonna be talking about for today's video happens to be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive in the form of the Flock Tigger, which actually released way back in 2017. And this, without a doubt, is by far the best Tigger pop that your money can buy. And clearly, because of today's video, people have been using their hard-earned money to go out and buy this beautiful Tigger Pop. Now, like any San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, there was a shared sticker version as well as a con sticker version. And interestingly enough, both versions of this stickered pop have been going up in value. The shared sticker version is currently trending for $105, which is great to see for a shared sticker non-numbered exclusive piece. And the con sticker version of this pop is coming in at $170, and there's actually been some recent sales of this pop in the range of $180 to $190. And with this pop, for whatever reason, being so hard to find just in general, I know we recently picked it up in a collection for our personal collection, but we've been trying trying to track this one down for years. 
I definitely see the con sticker version of this pop breaking that $200 barrier very, very soon. They haven't made that many Tigger pops. They have made another flocked one in the form of a Christmas version, but outside of that, they really just haven't made a lot of them. So I truly think that this is the best Tigger pop. I love the mold where he's actually bouncing on his tail. Very iconic to the character. So overall, Funko really just did a great job with this particular exclusive. So that's going to do it for today's Pops on the Rise video, guys. Let me know down in the comments section below if you've noticed any other pops currently in your collection trending upward in value. I'd love to hear your thoughts and some more about your personal pops from your collections down in the comments section below. We got a lot of exciting stuff coming up here on the channel. So guys, make sure to subscribe. We got some new series and some new videos on the way that you definitely don't want to miss. We recently hit 27,000 subscribers here on the channel. So thank you guys so much. We are getting very close to our goal of 30K by the end of the year and it's starting to look like that we should be able to reach that goal so thank you guys so much for all the love and support make sure to smash that like button and as always don't stop shooting until you score